Ghanaians in the Nordic countries represent a small percentage of the minority population. Some have lived in these countries for many decades. Despite these years, there is often a question of whether they feel settled in the host countries or consider it as a home. A Ghanaian resident in Finland describes how one can become a part of the bigger society. The interactions that you have on a day-to-day -day basis with people and knowing that you feel belong, people make you feel accepted, makes you know that, okay, this is a place that I can settle. For now, yes, I feel settled in Finland. The story may vary from one to another due to individual experiences. This year, in the city of Gothenburg, the youth wing of the Ghana unions in Sweden organized the annual general conference to discuss challenges facing the modern-day Ghanaian youth and ways to overcome them. Some of them express their views on how it feels to live in Sweden. I mean, I'll use my parents as an example. My dad says, like, when my brother is done with school, he's out. And my mom says the same. So they are 100% planning to leave because they never feel like this is home. And I feel the same too, actually. No matter what happens, home is home. You can never feel at home here if you're not from this place. You know, every time we you crack your brain. brain. The sense of not belonging to the host nation is one of the many reasons why most Ghanaians build homes for themselves in Ghana even though they spend most part of their lives abroad. Samoyao Yao Anini is a Finland-based estate developer who builds houses in Ghana, especially for those living abroad. He explains the importance of having a home in Ghana. As a Ghanaian living abroad in diaspora, uh, one day, one day you go back. So it is very important that uh, if you can afford to have a, a place on your own so that whenever you travel back home, uh, then it will be easier for you to you know, live there. Now the question is, for many Ghanaians who go home once every three to five years and again have no plans of relocating soon, is it worth building a house in Ghana? And then he has the answer. The, for the sake of value of money, uh, you, you need to probably, if you have a four bedroom apartment or house, you should rent two bedroom out and then keep the two. So at least there's somebody in the house who will maintain the house for you. I don't think it is, it is a wise decision yeah, for a house to be there without anybody occupying it. He also addresses other common practices among some Ghanaians living abroad. Uh, some of us in diaspora will be having a very, uh, I, mean, I mean, a car that I don't even want to describe. And then meanwhile, they have land cruisers packed home and then they will go there once in every five years and use it. I would say it is not a wise decision at all. So how can someone who plans to relocate to Ghana someday be able to afford a home if they don't start building it now? At least where you live is where you should also try and then put your money. In Finland, for example, the value of houses actually appreciates. It doesn't really go down. So at the time that you want to relocate, you can sell the house, get all the money that you have put in, and then you can even buy outright wherever you want to settle. Here in Gothenburg, the development manager of the city, Kwajo Ansan Pewodie, discusses the risk of investing in Ghana whilst living abroad. By the time you go home, only a portion of what you've sent home can be realized because then you don't have control of the resources that you are sending back home. Kwajo believes it is important to have a comfortable home in any country of residence than to be concerned with acquiring a home in Ghana. When my children here cannot come to a home with their, 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 their friends and say that this is my daddy's house, we live here, but feel ashamed to bring their friends home because it's crowded, because they have, don't have their own rooms. For me, that would be more a serious issue for me than not having a home in Ghana. There is a call to Ghanaians in the diaspora to first make a home in their host countries until they finally decide to move back to Ghana. Sima Boahen reporting for GH Diaspora.